Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge and a lot of students might be saying hey mister this is a very easy challenge we have x to the force and we have force power right here so if we apply for example the force root on the left side if we have something like that on the left side we can easily apply the force root on the right side okay the force root of this expression so x minus 4 to the power 4. Right now we can easily cancel this 4, this 4 right here, this 4 and this 4 right here and as a result uh, one part of students write that this is equal to x equal to x minus 4 something like that and from here as you can see we can easily cancel this x and as a result we have 0 equal to minus 4. A lot of students solve this challenge like that they confused about uh, about this part because this is a very bad solution in terms of math just forget about this just forget about this uh, this solution right now we're going to solve this challenge absolutely correctly and step by step so forget about this about this bad part about this like randomly part randomly solution so right now let's solve this challenge first of all let's separate this uh, this solution right here and let's bring this x minus 4 to the fourth power let's bring from our right side to left side okay so we have right here we have right here x to the fourth power minus x minus 4 to the fourth power equal to equal to zero Okay, this is a correct first step. Don't do this challenge like that. Don't solve this challenge like that. This is very bad thing in terms of math to cancel this four and as a result we have really weird, really weird part. Okay, right now let's look closely what do we have right here. First of all, we can easily we can easily write this x to the fourth power as x squared to the second power. Okay, so let's do this. So we have right here x squared to the second power yeah we can easily write this x to the fourth like that yeah it changed nothing for us but it helps us a lot and the same thing with this x minus 4 to the fourth power absolutely the same thing as a result i want to use another type of brackets we have something like that we have right here x minus 4 to the second power and as a result we erase all of the thing by the second power equal to equal to zero okay so it changed nothing for us basically yeah because right here two and two equal to four two and two equal to four it changed nothing but right now if you look closely we have some value some expression and uh, to the second power so for example let's call this expression like a and this expression in this type of brackets and as a result this is our for example b as a result we have a square minus b square okay and if you're talking about the formula right here a square minus b square this is a classic school formula which is equal to a minus b and times a plus b okay this is very basic formula so right now let's apply this formula in this expression on the top let's do this uh, what do we have right here with the minus sign let's go with first so as a result we have x square minus x minus 4 square and the same thing with with the plus sign okay so x square plus x minus 4 to the second power equal to equal to 0 okay really great right now let's simplify this a little bit because this is not like a hard expression because we have second power we can easily erase this this is a minus b to the second power squared yeah and as a result we will simplify this expression a lot okay so as a result right here we have x square minus this one raised to the second power we need to put uh, my uh, brackets right here and as a result we have x square yeah x square minus 8x and plus 16 yeah this is our first parenthesis and in another parenthesis we have right here a plus sign so as a result i don't want to put brackets right here in this case because in this case we have minus so we need to do this but in this case we have plus so as a result we have x square plus we have x square but let's do okay let's do with parentheses it's better for us to understand this expression okay plus x square minus 8x and plus 16 okay equal to equal to zero really great and right now let's open this parentheses in this case in this case in this case it's it's easier for us because we have a plus sign in this case we need to change all the signs right here so let's do this so we have right here on the left side we have x square minus 8x square plus 8x and minus 16 yeah and on the right side what do we have right here we have x square plus x square minus 8x and plus 16 equal to 0 okay really great right now x square and x square we can easily cancel so in the as a result on the left side we have only this expression 8x minus 16 so we have 8x minus 16 
on the right side, what do we have? x squared plus x squared, we have 2x squared, 2x squared, of course, it's inside parentheses, minus 8x, and plus 16 equal to equal to zero really great so right now we factor our challenge as a result we have a product of two parentheses this parentheses and this parentheses so we need to split we need to split our solution by two parts okay because we uh, the product of two parentheses equal to zero when the first parentheses equal to zero or the second parentheses equal to zero let's for example start with this second parentheses so we have equation 2x squared minus 8x and plus 16 equal to zero this is a quadratic equation we can also divide both side by two let's do this so let's divide both side by two because we have two eight and sixteen these values are divisible by by two okay so we have x square minus four x and plus eight equal to zero right now let's find uh, our discriminant or for example we can start with the, with the basic formula x equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. This is our basic formula, but I prefer first of all find discriminant. I prefer to do this at first. As a result, let's find our our discriminant. So our discriminant equal to we have our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Really great. And right now let's plug in all of these values into this spot. So b equal to minus 4. So as a result, we have minus 4. We have square minus 4 times 1a and times 8 uh, times c we have 8 equal to really great right now let's simplify this a little bit as a result we have 16 minus 32 equal to minus 16 and as a result we can easily see that our discriminant is negative and a lot of students confused about it we have negative discriminant but it's it changed nothing for us right here we have complex root this is like a real root but in the same way this is like a complex root the opposite uh, looks like opposite a root this is also a root but a complex yeah so don't be confused about this minus we have only two complex root not real but but two complex so let's plug in everything into into this spot so we know everything about discriminant we have x equal to minus b we have minus 4 we have 4 we have 4 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 16 and all over we have 2a yeah all over all over to right now let's simplify this a little bit first of all we can easily simplify this square root of minus 16 we can write this uh, just take a look closely we have 4 plus minus this square root we can write as minus 1 times 16 okay we can write this this like that all over all over to end right now this square root right here because we have a product we can easily split it by two by two um, square roots so take a look closely we have we have four plus minus square root of minus one times square root of 16 and all over all over two right now square root of 16 we know about it this is equal to 4 and square root of minus 1 this is our complex unit okay this is our complex unit this is our i so as a result 4 plus minus 4i yeah we can easily change position so 4i and all over all over 2 but we can easily divide a uh, number numerator by our denominator we have common denominator so as a result we can divide this by by 2 so as a result we have 2 plus minus 2i okay this is our two two roots right here this is our second and third but first of all let's find our our real root right here we had it uh, we had this root right here so we have 8x minus 16 equal to 0 from here 8x 8x equal to 16 and x from here equal to x from here equal to 2. We can easily check this root. Let's do this real quick and then we will write our final answer. So let's prove, let's check our, our x equal to 2. Okay, so x equal to 2, x equal to 2. From here, what do we have? In the beginning, we had x to the fourth power. So let's write our challenge at first. x to the fourth power equal to x minus 4 to the fourth power. Let's check this two right here. Let's do this. So we have right here 2 to the fourth power equal to 2 minus 4 to the fourth power. And right now, 2 to the 4th power equal to minus 2 to the 4th power, okay? We have even power, so as a result, doesn't matter. Minus 2, plus 2, and right here we have minus 2, plus 2. As a result, we have the same power, even power. If you have, like, for example, 3, 5, 7, so odd number. This is not a correct expression. But in our case, we have we have 4, so as a result, this is a great a great root for us. We can easily rate this because we have right here on the on the right side. What do we have right here? Minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 and times minus 2 
inside parentheses, of course. Yeah, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. As a result, our, our general, our common sign, minus times minus plus, minus times minus, we have plus. So as a result, the final sign will be plus, and as a result, we have 2, 2, 2, 2. So as a result, this is the same 2 to the fourth power. So this is a correct, a great route for us. Let's write our final answer to this challenge. Let's write it. So our answer, our answer, x first equal to 2, x second, let's go with the plus sign, equal to 2 plus 2i, and x third equal to 2 minus 2i. These are, th these are three roots. These are three roots. These are a complex, complex solutions. This is our complex root, and this is our real real root right here so right now you can easily see a plot you can easily see a graph right here with the real plane with the complex plane so we can easily compare these uh, these two solutions these two these two values these three these three solutions so it's it's really great i guess and forget about this this part this is a very tricky moment a lot of students cancel this four and as a result we have x equal to x minus four somehow you can easily solve this challenge like that but you need to Put right here absolute value yeah with the absolute value right here and right here you can find these two so from here you can find that x equal to 2 you can easily do this with the absolute values you can easily do this but in our case in our case it's better for us to solve this challenge like that we show us a full solution to this challenge parentheses factor in right here and 3 and three roots. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your thoughts down into the comment section, write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, thank you for your time. See you in the next videos. Also write your, your challenges into the comment section. What do you want to see on my YouTube channel? Maybe higher mathematics, maybe, and maybe like uh, general algebra question, Olympiad challenges. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you everyone for your support. See you in the next videos. And have a great day.